It's December 2018 and the guidelines have just changed again. What do we do to screen our patients for breast cancer? 2018 Canadian Task Force on Preventive Healthcare Guidelines on Screening for Breast Cancer. Things are different, things are new. What do we need to know? The good news is not much has changed since 2011. So let's take a closer look at these guidelines and find out what you need to know for practice, what you need to know for the exam. And for the exam, remember, it's a Canadian exam. So when you come to the review course, we focus on Canadian guidelines, Canadian updates. Don't be focusing on what your hospital does, or what your province or what your territory does. For a Canadian exam, you need to know Canadian guidelines. So for practice, what do we do for our patients? Well, the guidelines are almost identical. 40 to 49 years of age, we recommend not screening. 50 to 74 years of age, the guidelines recommend screening with mammography every two to three years. So that's almost identical to the 2011 guidelines. What's changed? Well, here's the biggest difference. Shared decision making, shared decision making. Think about a patient who's say 41 years old, she's just seen her neighbor go through breast cancer and you tell her the guidelines say don't screen for breast cancer. Well this patient is probably going to put a bit more value on the harms of not screening and that's why the tool that comes with the guideline is so helpful. This is the thousand person tool that's included in the guideline and you can show patients for their age group what are the harms, what are the benefits of screening so they can make a more informed decision shared decision making and that's the biggest change when it comes to the guideline. One last caveat, you need to know this guideline does not apply to all women. So it applies to women aged 40 to 74 who are at average risk. Here's a great SAMP question. Could you name the four criteria that make a woman higher than average risk which means that they cannot be screened using this guideline? The answers are in the blog post at thereviewcourse.com slash study tips. Thanks for watching. We hope you feel more prepared to understand the 2018 Canadian guidelines on breast cancer screening from the Canadian Task Force. Dr. Simon Moore from the Review Course in Family Medicine helping you stay prepared.